Welcome in everybody to another video by Mr. Various Ross. That's me. We are today in Once Human again talking about silo seepage zones. What are they? Why are they important? So what are they? Are there seepage zones within four of the six silos we have access to in Once Human? Uh, this is currently in phase two. Phase three is about to go live, which will allow us hard modes from phase three forward. Phase four gives us pro modes. But why are seepage zones important? Well, it's an extra boss in each of these four silos that allows for extra mods and potentially extra deviants. The four silos that allow them are Sigma, here uh, just to the northeast of Gaia Cliff Monol. We also have silo, uh, no, X1. This is one that does not allow it. We have, they're kind of scattered about. We have silo Psi. That one does not allow. I found the two that don't. Um, silo Phi has a seepage zone. Silo Theta has a seepage zone. And so does it silo Alpha, which is. That's right, it's down over here. So we're going to go through each one of these silos. We're going to show you where the seepage zones are and how to access those seepage zones. Again, we only have easy mode available to me right now, so we're going to go through. We're going to do easy mode. As you can see, um, it's a level 15. I'm 50, so bear in mind that difficulty starting uh, in about 12 hours or less. Uh, beta, the hard modes will become available. And that'll change things. There could be extra mechanics added. There could be, well, obviously, increased difficulty and so on. We're going to start here, Silo Sigma, and we're going to run through and show you exactly where these all are and how to access them. So in Silo Sigma here, I'm going to run through real quick. It's all easy stuff. In order to access it, you need a key card. The key card is located off this elite boss right here. That mechanic. He's the one that gives you the key card that accesses the silo. Seepage zone. In order to get there, you go through the duct here. As soon as we come up out of the duct, we're going to be looking for a door on the right hand side of that room with a key card access. The ladder here, finish going through the duct. Once we enter this room, there's a key card door. right over here. That accesses the seepage zone. See, we've just entered seepage zone KP-2701-3. We go to the end of the hall, and we're going to start an event. Interact with this little jukebox. Let me kill these two enemies quick. Gonna interact with the jukebox and it's gonna start an event as you can see just above my head here charging three of 100 and so on I have to stay inside the circle to keep charging mobs spawn at the opposite side of the room and try to come after me. it goes through phases a few mobs will spawn at a time you can see the outer portals became these inner portals enemies spawn now we have portals on the outside edges of the walls in easy mode this phase spawns large guys that are going to come up and try to explode we come from each side of the room now we go back here there's going to be a flyer phase again this is subject to change with the different our difficulties you see, we got a couple of spawning and uh, a couple of flying enemies in here now, and now we're going to go back to these outer edges. 
and there'll be more mobs that will come running at us. Now we're back to the outermost edges. These ones are a little sneaky, they... There's a couple of flyers that spawn. And they kind of hide into the corners. They'll come to me eventually. There's these two. One of the... Uh -huh. There you are, you sneaky guy. There's that. Next phase. A bit more of the bugs again. Outer edges. Once again. And then while that's happening, here's the boss. Don't let him throw that teddy bear if he can. Here we go, the gotcha machine is down. A couple more ticks. And success. Gotcha machines defeated. There's our rewards. I'm not going to use a controller on this as it's an easy mode reward. But there is a potential, at least in the beta, of a Mr. Wish, the alpaca deviant, spawning in this area. Uh, some people have confirmed it still exists in easy modes, just or uh, in this silo, but at a much lower spawn rate than it was in the closed beta. We'll find out as we uh, get into hard modes and start farming these more regularly, whether or not it's uh, still there. But I'm going to do this whole video, one cut, hopefully it comes out well. I'm going to come finish the boss up here, we're going to move on to the next. Ow. That hurt. If you can do it, you can bypass all of the side mobs in that boss just by going for the final boss and not uh, not killing any of the side mobs. Of course, I was too close to a... Uh... Alright. Next on the list is Silo Phi. Now we're going to teleport down to Silo Phi. The easiest access to that is Greywater Camp. Oh, one second, chat. There we go. Next silo. Just a short trip. Sneak out of town right over here. There's a broken gate piece. Over the river and through the woods. To the next silo we go. Yep, straight up this way. I get lost easily, chat. It's right. There's a bit of a ravine here, so make sure you take the bridge. Because you're coming from grey water. Ignore the big tree I just hit. And here we are. Silo 5. I'm going to do this one again. This seepage zone, located in a slightly different spot, make sure you bring molotovs with you when you come here, as there is an extra chest you can access, but only if you have molotovs. I will show you that chest as well when we get here. 
don't forget, when you come into this silo, come left here into this room. As there is a few extra chests available to you. They're just regular storage crates and a, an emergency med kit. But they are definitely worth coming to pick up on your way through. Ooh. Not too close. That trash can also can have some good loot in it as well. I continue past all of these. Gotta make sure you kill that in order to open here. It's a bit of a loot crate right here to grab. So when you come into this room, you need to open this crate to get an access card. That access card's important, but the crate I was talking about is right in here. My flames die down for a second, so I don't let myself on fire. There's an extra gear crate right here. If you have uh, Molotovs with you. No passengers. Alright, so this enters the seepage zone. You have to use the uh, key card on this elevator. You're going to enter a seepage zone. In the beta, this seepage zone, everywhere outside of the initial room you come in, was poisoned. I don't know if it'll be the same. I would imagine it's going to be the same. In uh, the live version. Once we go through this little phase right there. Everything outside this room was poison. In the beta. You'll have to defeat this reaper, this rainfall reaper which opens access to this spot here. And it's been shown that there is a potential Shepasaurus Rex or Pyrodino that will spawn in this room once you've defeated that side boss. Exit this. This is back here. We then re exit the seepage zone. Go back up. is in this room. Make sure you check around this room. There are several storage crates and storage boxes, including things like the storage cabinet here. The goal is to destroy the four nest sacks, spawn the boss, I'll do three of them while I go around the room, collecting the boxes, so I'm not rushed after I, de after I defeat the boss to get the loot. Another one there. Another one here. There's another one in this train car, and there's another one in the train car 
Not jumping up, please. There's another one in the train car across the room. This yellow train car here. Tucked in this corner. So once you're happy with getting your crates, you can eat the final mess sack. Deviant spawns. Huzzah. Silo complete. Again, this is on easy mode. Hard mode will add extra mechanics to the fight. Alright, and the next silo is Silo Alpha. Here we are, the closest teleport to Silo Alpha. The Alpha Institute. From the teleporter, we're just going to follow this here around the corner. Crash our motorcycle on the tree, and here we are at Silo Alpha. Again, third silo in difficulty. We've done. Sigma is a level 15. Phi is level 25. Here we are at Silo Alpha, the level 35 silo. Hard modes and pro modes, of course, are level 50 across the board. But for this silo, we're going to come in here. Fall down. through the silo. Grab some storage crates along the way. In the beta, this silo, once you got to hard mode, had laser tripwires. In many places throughout the silo, it made it very difficult to progress. We need a key card to get through that door. The key card is located through here. Uh, the hard modes in the beta had tripwires in this door here, along this tunnel here. I imagine those will be coming back. But the key card we need is from this enemy right here. Clear the room. And before you progress on, make sure you use the key card here. Excuse me, have patience. There's a weapon crate in here. You don't want to grab before you go too far. Up and around the corner. I head back to that door. Which was a bit of a pain in hard mode because those laser traps stayed active. And they would one-shot you. Alright, in this room here. Before climbing up, make sure you come in here. There's another storage crate. Before you go forward through this door, you want to turn around, come back here. And your 
seepage zone through this door. Grab the gear crate, storage crate, forehand. Make sure you've brung a stun baton with you for this phase, as you'll need it for activating five anchors within this area or something that does lightning damage. Actually, direction, I believe it is only stun baton. One anchor, two anchor, a third anchor back here. How it makes sense that I can slam into them by shoulder and activate them is oh, the game screen there. Go. I have not seen a deviant spawn from that one. But I do believe it has an option for a deviant. The other silos do, so I would imagine this one has a potential for a deviant spawning there. Alright. So now that we've completed that, let's go on to the final boss before moving on to silo later. In through here. Staircase. On the corner here. And once again, the goal is to defeat the enemy. In the middle here. Everyone else is... Optional. Enemy is dead. Come through here. Grab an extra loot crate. Get your loot chest. And... Leave the dungeon. Silo Theta. Silo Theta's up north here, the one I never seem to forget. Silo Theta, your closest teleportation tower is right here. And again, this is northeast. Blackfell. Just a short drive north. This unassuming building over here. It is Silo Theta. Just around the back of this building. Now, all of these silos do have Teen Man outside of them. He will give you a quest to beat the silo, uh, the final boss of the silo. And then once you've completed the silo, you talk to Team Man again and turn it in for a reward. But each silo has one. 
This one here is a little bit different as far as your unlock goes, but I will show you. You're going to progress through. Um, if you're comfortable with it, you can rush past all of these enemies. Just avoid the center, because it will lower your sanity. You're going to turn left here. Your aim is down the hall here. You're just up on the right. You're going to go up into this room. And once in here, you have to clear these points here. There are three of them in here. One, two, three. Boss is that way. Seepage zone is back here through this door. There is some odds and ends you can get in here. Ooh. You need to rotate this statue, and that is your clue for this phase. Pick up your loop back here. Go past this, and you're going to go through here into this next room. And as I said, the rotate is a clue. You need to match these reflections with these statues. So this guy needs to rotate twice. This guy needs to rotate twice. He matches his statue now. This guy here is three times. This one over here is twice. And it should be this one here is twice. This guy starts out... Or maybe not. He's three as well, and he's twice. Maybe. I missed one. I must have missed one. He should be coming up now. Oh, I rotated that one, and I shouldn't have. Now, he'll come up out of the floor. Do to burn him down. And success. It's a level 45. I'll spend a controller on it. Why not? Vivo, critical rescue, armor parts, startup source. Good stuff. Now that we've completed that seepage zone, once again, back to your statue over here. Put the statue get back in here. Go through the hallway here. Try to avoid these little spurts or jumping in the puddles. They don't hurt that badly, but of course, once you go into hard modes and pro modes, everything goes up in difficulty. This room here, we want to climb across here. Here, over to here. Across here, I've got spring legs on right now. I could have probably avoided one of those jumps just by sailing across. Here, you want to wait for that. Don't do that. Gear crate. As well as storage crate. And the boss is through the tunnel here. Now, once in here, you're going to fight another glutton. There are crates scattered throughout the room.
like that. Now, again, hard mode, pro mode, everything ratchets up the difficulty, new mechanics are added in, but once you complete the boss, don't forget to get your loot around the room. Unlike in closed beta 3, your loot can only be attained um, once per reset, it seems. I don't know if it follows server reset, which server loot resets at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, and then every four hours after that. There you have it. Four silos with four seepage zones. Again, silo X1, silo Psi, they do not have seepage zones. It's just the boss. Um, each will potentially have deviance at the boss. Silo X1 has... Which one? Silo X1. It's down here. Trying to remember, Silo X1 is the call telephone tower guy. He has an atomic lighter that can drop there, but in the beta, he also had he had another um, deviant that could spawn there. So there could be a chance of two different deviants there. Uh, and then Silo Psy is a refrigerator boss. He has a, at least confirmed so far that I know of, a snow globe that can drop there, as well as uh, there may be potentially one other um, deviant that can drop there as well. So, as I said, it's going to become important uh, once we go into phase three and beyond for hard modes and pro modes. If you're trying to get down some of those elusive mods for your armor or your weapons to flesh out your builds, those are where you're going to find them. Uh, if you found this information useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I also live stream almost daily here on YouTube as well as on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Darius underscore Frost. Um, I'll leave a link for that below. Uh, if there's anything I've missed, please feel free to add a comment down below as well. Let me know. That's how we all get better as a group. But until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Bye, everybody.